Strength pushing up. Feel the floor here, MACD's leading higher. Have everything on the 610. We have an area to go to up here on the 1597. We've had a floor created with MACD's leading higher. So I really gotta watch where this goes at this point. This roll up right here above the zero line is really helping it after having this kind of W pattern almost, or V. I'm going to have to go hunt down my mouse. Doing this with the finger sucks.
Hmm. Well, this is above here that is breaking above here that you've had major divergence that is pushing this back to the upside. So that's why I decided I wanted to take a second entry. <sighs> A little bit better risk on it. <sighs> so I need, I think, just trying to push this up to that higher time frame EMA. These long bars that we have along here with the closes at the top are really some great indications that this is going to the upside. We had a floor created right here. We have all these bars with closes at the top. We did have a lot of strength to the downside, but it's really showing weakness on the 610. It's starting to show it on the 1597. MACDs are going pretty strong up. You're back above everything on your 610. You're back above everything on your 1597 when it comes to the uh, MACDs. Remember, this is about what we're watching happen, not what we want to make happen. Because we're not market movers. We're market watchers. So what I normally would do here is be like freaking out about, not freaking out, but considering an exit. Um, but I want to see really quick. Well, there we go. MACD is a little more true there because it ha doesn't have such a big swing to cover. When you have a big swing to cover, your MACDs kind of start to squinch together. So here was a big swing to cover. So it's trying to keep everything in proportion. Um, if you really want to know what the MACDs are telling you, scoot it back a little bit and look at it. a little rusty today since I took the week off.
right. As it's getting closer to that target, I'm going to be really cautious. I really want to move my stop up almost to a break even. Let's move it behind this area. Right in here. Let's move that one up. Move that one to take behind here. So I'm really just putting it a couple of ticks behind the um, 610 EMA. This is showing a lot of strength up to go through and hit my targets. We're going to put these stops together. Now these closes at the top are really good for this. Closing at the top, really good for it to continue up. The MACDs are super strong up on the 1597. I'm liking this bar right here. It'd be a great place to move my risk if it continues up for here. So it'd be a one, two. to hit my first target. The second one, I'm going to give a couple more ticks. Just kind of holding it off in the distance for a little bit. So the reason I'm holding, oh, actually I need to hold it off here because one of the reasons it could come back and hit right where these little sweet spot is starting to pull together. So I don't want to have it right there. Um, so I'm just holding off just a little bit. I'm waiting to see if this is going to push up a little bit further. Once it does, we'll sit right there. really really close to that uh, higher time frame EMA right here There we go. There's the first one. Got a lot of strength up in the MACDs. And I refuse to lose anything on this. So we'll go above here. Right 
at that uh, VMA. Shoe. Getting a little bit of ceiling on the 15 or on the 610, but there's still a ton of strength up in the MACDs on the 1597. Uh, the 610 MACDs are even strong up still too. Oh, hit my target, but it didn't take me out. Don't you love that? Just seeing it sit there, like take it. <laughs> I'm gonna move this down one more. We're gonna take the exit. There we go. Good with that. And uh, pretty much done for the day. I have a lot of things to do later on today, but. Uh, Yep, that about does it. Uh, let's see. So two points off the first one, or so four points off the first one, three and a half off the second. So, um, 1.75 so that's uh, seven and a half points for the day <clears throat> and that would uh, be all she wrote as always guys if you got any questions I mean this may go up I told you the MACDs are super strong in the 1597 but I'm feeling really rusty after taking the week off and so um, I feel like these were a little this was a little bit of a late entry but only by a tick or so um, because it is going right into that area but there were plenty of reasons to believe that area was not going to hold uh, this would have hit my target again. It had already hit my target a couple of times. It hadn't taken me out, so I was good with taking my exit. And uh, that is that. Hope you all have a fabulous day.